In this podcast, we are going to learn how to use Cusenier rods to do addition and subtraction of fractions. If you line up the Cusenier rods from smallest to largest, you will see that they differ each other by size and by color, as shown in the photograph. Any one of these rods can be designated as representing one whole. All the other rods will be appropriate fractions. For example, if we assume that the dark green rod is one whole, then the light green rod will be one half, the red rod will be one third, and the white rod will be one sixth. But all the other rods are in fact some fraction. So for example, the purple rod would be the same length as two reds or four whites so it would be two-thirds of the whole, or four-sixths. The yellow rod would be as long as five of the whites, and therefore would represent five-sixths. All the other rods are improper fractions greater than one. If we choose a different rod, for example, brown to be one, then we have a different fractions The, the violet rod would therefore be one half, the red rod would be one fourth, and the white rod will be one eighth. We can now work with problems with those denominators. For example, supposing we want to add one half plus one fourth. Well, the one half rod is the violet rod, and one fourth is the red rod. So if we bring these together, the length of both of these rods together is in fact the an answer. But in order to find the numerical value of the answer, we must actually bring them up to our rods. So whenever performing problems like this, start off by putting the rods together, starting with the rod which is designated as a whole, and all the ones that fit into it a whole number of times below it. If we lined up the violet plus a red, the, the violet is the same as two reds, we find out that the length or the sum of one half plus one fourth is three reds, which is three fourths. If we want to subtract fractions, one half minus one fourth, we put one rod on top of the other, and the piece that's missing right at the front is in fact the answer. If we bring these up, to our rods, we will see that that violet rod that's showing is the answer, which is the same length as one red rod, or one-fourth. So one-half minus one-fourth is one-fourth. We can also have two rods representing one whole. For example, the orange plus the red rod can be one whole. If, the, if that rod is one whole, then the dark greens are one-half, the violets are one-third, the reds are one-sixth, and the whites are one-twelfth. We can now perform problems with these denominators. For example, to add one-half plus one-third, we take the rod representing one-half, which is a green, and add to it the rod, which is one-third, which is a violet. And the answer is where the violet rod ends. We see that that's the same as five red rods. So the answer is five-sixths since each red rod is one-sixth of the whole.